All right, guys, today I want to talk about soap. Now, I've made some other videos in the past kind of about minimal, minimalist living. I have a video recently out saying how I wear the same clothes every day. And today we're going to talk about soap and shampoo. And there's a couple reasons why I do this. Uh, first, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the reasons why I do it. And then I'll kind of go through, as you can see, I kind of have a lot over here, but I'll explain what it all is real quick as we go through it. <coughs> so, a couple of reasons I do this is it's natural. Uh, these things, let me read one of the, uh, this is my soap bar, only soap I use other than what I'll talk about. And in this, the ingredients are goat's milk, olive, palm, and coconut oil, shea butter, fragrance oil, and mineral pigment. Everything that you know what it is, uh, the fragrance oil is going to vary from bar to bar. This one is camel fragrance. It has some patchouli and some other things in it. Uh, but you know what's in here. Very natural ingredients. I mean, olive, palm, coconut oil, shea butter, goat's milk. You, you know what all those are. I would like you guys to go look at your, shamp your shampoo and your uh, soap. Look at the ingredients on your soap. I bet it has countless ingredients that you have no idea what they are. The shampoo one, oh this one is uh, covered by a sticker the ingredients. I'll read it off uh, one of these. The shampoo one is also a natural one. Let me go ahead and open this up. This is a uh, mini bars of the same thing. This is the only shampoo I use. I've used it for two years and you're like, it's a bar, it's not liquid. I know. Uh, all you do with this stuff is get your hair wet, get the bar a little wet, rub it over your head a few times and then you've got a lather up there, it's, just, it's all soapy and you just rub it in and wash like normal. It's, it's no harder to use than liquid shampoo and it's a lot more natural. So you can get the full size bars and they last me a month or two, it really just depends how much I use it, how much I put it through my hair, how, how many days a week I use it. I usually wash my hair four times a week, I skip a day often because the less you wash your hair, it's actually the better. Uh, you're not putting all these chemicals on your head as often. Now these are natural, so it's not as bad, but you're putting less chemicals on your head. So if you can skip a day here and there, it's actually better for your scalp. So this one is the original formula. This one is herbal. They've got tea tree ones, and they've got uh, you know a couple different fragrances or, or mixtures in there. This one has olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, sunflower oil, palm oil, and fragrance, and rose oil. Again, everything you know, you know what it is. It's, a, it's very natural. And one other thing I've noticed with these is I've never had a problem with dandruff, but everyone, if you wear a black shirt, or I wear lots of dark shirts even, everyone can notice it here and there. Uh, what I can say is since I've used these, I really haven't even noticed anything when I wear a black shirt. Um, just wash with these, and you're not putting all these chemicals on your head. Uh, I've never used dandruff shampoo, but I'm sure if you went and looked at some dandruff shampoo, the back of those, again, you're going to find countless ingredients, and you're not going to know, you know exactly what they are, and it's all these types of chemicals. With this, you know what you're putting on your head, and they work amazing. The travel size are really nice. I'll give you a little bag, which I've never used, but a little bag if you want to use it. And the travel size ones will last me a few weeks, maybe even a month, depending again if you're traveling, how much, how often are you washing your hair. But I'd say if you're washing your hair every day, uh, it will last you probably two weeks. Uh, if, you know, just especially if you have shorter hair. As you can see, I have long hair, and I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my hair is as good or better than in terms of softness and tangleness. I never have tangles and it's softer than any other shampoo I've used. I never use conditioner. Um, people sometimes when I tell them about this stuff will be like, wow, you have really soft, you know, good looking hair uh, and you don't use any conditioner or anything. I'm like, no, I just use these and that's it. So I'm a good uh, proof that they work good because I have such long hair and for two years that's all I've used and it's amazing really good stuff so of course get the big sizes you can travel with the big size too I just like to have the little ones and you know you can always bring two little ones along if you're worried about running out I also use these sometimes 
wear the soap bar sometimes to wash my wool clothing while I'm on the road. I wash my wool, wool clothing in a sink and I can use either of these. I could also bring along some of my other actual wool shampoo. So in my bath, uh, bathtub, my shower, you know, most people, if you go into your bathtub and shower, you guys probably have bottles and bottles and bottles and this and this and that and that and this. I have two bars, plus I have a, just a washcloth, you know, a little washcloth. And then sometimes I have one other bar, which we'll go ahead and talk about the rest. But <clears throat> those were basically the reasons why I started using these, because I just wanted to go natural and I wanted to stick with something I like. I found this one. Which I have many more. Actually, uh, this is my favorite soap, this camo from this Loma Acres. And I have three camos in one in my shower. Since I like them, I usually buy them in like six. And then they last me like a year, six bars. I mean, long time. So, really good soap. It's my favorite scent. So, I just have backups of my favorite one that I always use. Then I have a couple other ones. And uh, they're just a couple different flavors I haven't tried or flavors, scents. This one's called Groovy Patchouli. And it smells actually similar, similar to the Camo, because the Camo has some patchouli in it as well, but it has more of a spiciness to it. Oh, that's making my nose want to sneeze. So much fragrance. Okay, now we have a uh, Nag Champa. This one I actually bought because a friend of mine always used Nag Champa incense. And uh, I meant to give it to him. And I just forgot, or I haven't yet. So now that I saw this, because I went through my, my soaps, I'll try to remember to give that to him. Then I have a couple more specialty ones. The last of my soaps here. We have uh, Working Hands. This is a soap with uh, pumice in it. So it's got kind of gritty. So like if you work on cars, or you work outside, or if I go fishing, it helps clean basically your hands good because it has some some uh, grainy stuff in there to help uh, you know just clean off things and then this one is a tea tree oil with clay and this one's supposed to be good for oily skin and it's supposed to be good for just helping like exfoliate and stuff don't really I, I've had this one I had one more of these that I used and then this one's just been sitting it's fine but I don't have oily skin so I don't really use it I just really like this company, so I tried a few of their, you know, fragrances and a few of their bars. Same company again, this is their Shave Bar. Now I have used this, been a long time, as you can see, <laughs> but um, it is really awesome. I don't know the ingredients because I don't have the packaging for it, um, but it is just a Shave Bar, and it works great. And then we have this one, which I really like. This is one other I have in my shower right now. So I have my shampoo my camel soap and then one of these in my shower and that's it I don't have just tons of stuff all over that's all I have that and the washcloth so this one's pretty cool I'm not sure the scent of this one because it just came in here it said online what was actually in it this one just smells like a nice clean soap scent and on the back it's just soap it's actually all the way through this stuff but this is a, uh, a loofah so it's soap that's kind of all in a loofah. So you get this wet and you have a loofah with soap in it. So pretty cool. Um, I use these sometimes as well. I often will just use my camo with the washcloth though. You know, rub some on a washcloth, same idea. But I thought this was a pretty cool concept and like I said I was testing out some of their soaps because I like their soaps. I found these people at a fair. Uh, I forget if it was the Renaissance Fair or it might have been a Septemberfest type fair around my area and they were real nice people and I bought a couple soaps that day at the fair I liked them so much I went online and for the past two years they're the only soap I've used now there's other brands that make different natural type soaps different people make goat's milk soap you know you could try a different brand I'm in no way affiliated with them or getting anything if you use them but I really like them that's what I use so what else do we have? Uh, another J.R. Liggett's uh, travel size. These are just refills. It's uh, six more travel size. And those I just keep in case I travel. And the only other soaps I have in my house, I might have a little bit of these in my bug out bag as well, are Camp Suds or Wilderness Wash. This stuff I love. Um, this is Citronella 
wash. So you put this, you wash this if you're going to go outside, fishing, camping, whatever. If you're out there camping, this, this is the best soap to use, but I use it before I go fishing often. And it's citronella, so it helps keep the bugs away. And all you do is use it, wash your body with it, and rinse it off. You know, I'd use it at the end of the shower, don't use it at the very beginning. You know, do it right before you're done uh, showering, so it's like the last thing that was on you. So, you know, rinse it off, but don't go crazy rinsing it off as good as you can. But yes, rinse it off. And uh, <clears throat> basically, it just helps keep bug bugs off you. Of course, it's not perfect, no bug spray is. You might still want some other bug sprays and stuff with you or whatever, but it's a nice thing to have, it's extra, and it does help keep bugs away. So I really love this stuff, it's called Wilderness Wash Citronella. You can get it online, you can get it at REI, really awesome stuff. And then the only other soap I have, I think I have this in smaller versions too, is just uh, Camp Suds. And it's just called Camp Suds. This one's new, I have one that's open. But it basically, it's for, it says here, hands, face, hair, clothing, dishes, anything washable. You can wash anything with this. And I've used it, I haven't used this on my hair, because uh, I always have my little shampoos with me. Um, but it says you can use it on your hair, great for campers, backpackers, travelers, and you can wash anything with it. The nice thing about this too is it's safe for the environment. It's, it's not like you're putting actual chemically harsh soaps out there. So it's good for the environment, biodegradable, and it's good for you too. So camp suds, cool stuff, but again, I only use that if I'm camping or fishing, or not just camping, or traveling or something. I use these when camping or fishing. And other than that, what did I have? Oh, this is just go tubes. These things are nice. They're a little expensive, but they're better than the cheaper ones that I've had, little travel things. Never had them leak. They're little, uh, I think they're made of silicon, and like put some of this in here because I wouldn't want to carry this whole big thing. So they're just little go tubes that you can put some liquid in if you have some liquid. These are just fine size as they are, but you can get these in bigger containers too. So the go tubes are pretty cool. So I mean that's pretty much it. But I just thought it might be interesting to tell you guys about that and also just think about it when you go in your bathroom, look in your shower, and just look at all the stuff that's probably in your shower. And wouldn't it be nice just to have two bars of soap in your shower and that's it? Other than, you know, a washcloth or a loofah or, you know, some other cleaning device you use, brush or whatever. Wouldn't it be nice to not have all that and have this and have stuff that you know is natural, not tons of chemicals? Again, go back and read the uh, back of your soaps and shampoos. Give them a look and see what's in there. It's going to be a lot of stuff you probably don't know what it is and can't pronounce. So this is J.R. Liggett's. I don't know if I said the brand much, but I don't know if you can read that. J.R. Liggett's, and it's called Old Fashioned Shampoo Bar. I admit, I have not tried many different companies. Same with the uh, Goat's Milk Soap. I, I did buy a couple Goat's Milk Soaps at other fairs, and I have tried some other ones. Um, I just really like the scent, so that's why I keep going back to this company. But I admit, I've never tried any other shampoo bars. So. Go smell the soap, get from wherever you want, try Loma Acres, they're on Etsy. I'll put their actual name, how to spell it, in the description along with this one. But I haven't tried other ones because I got this, I used it for a couple weeks and I was like, damn, my hair is actually good. Before I started using this, when I brushed my hair, I haven't cut my hair in years. Not a trim, nothing. So before I started using this, every once in a while when I got to the end, I'd have a little tangle and I'd have to like either brush it out, sometimes I'd just be like, oh screw it, and just cut off the tangle. Since using this, it's been two years longer, and I never get tangles, ever, N never. My brush always goes right through. Never get tangles, never have any problems like that. So really great stuff. I never saw a reason to try any other brands, but there are other brands of shampoo bars. If you really want to try a different one, you can. Um, but I like this one. I've used it two years. Again, I have no affiliation to them. It's just the one that I researched and tried, and it's been awesome for two years. So it makes things simple. I, you know, I buy a few. Like you saw, I have backups. I never run out of soap or shampoo. When I get down to one left, I order some more and I have enough for another year or two, <laughs> depending you know, how many I buy. And it's simple. It makes life simple. You don't have to 
go to the store and shop around and pick different things and oh this one worked or this one didn't work. Find one you like and stick with it, you know? And uh, I don't know, it makes it real simple again. Uh, it's basically the point and it's also natural. So I think I'm just going to start talking in circles. I think I've said everything I want to say. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, leave them down there in the comments section. Otherwise, we'll see you all later. Have a great rest of your day.